What's up, everybody? Coach Tommy, Committed True Fitness inside the sanctuary, the gym where the work goes down. Today, we're here for one reason, kettlebells. We're gonna learn how to do kettlebell swings correctly and safely. Phenomenal, phenomenal workout. It works everything from your calves, to your quads, to your glutes, to the erectors of your back, your core, your lats, your shoulders, particularly your anterior delt, and of course, your traps when you swing all the way up. Phenomenal, phenomenal workout, but with any other workout, you can always run the inherent risk of hurting yourself if you don't do it correctly. So, let's not make that stuff happen, and let's get into it. First thing we think we're gonna start off with is our foot placement. We should be about a shoulder width apart, all right? That's just outside your normal jump squat stance. Second thing, very, very important for safety. I want thumbs wrapped all the way around the kettlebell. So you can see here, my thumb is wrapped around the kettlebell. Don't do this, all right? Don't do this where your, your thumbs are on top of the kettlebell, your thumbs wrapped around. Had a kettlebell, this one's particular 53 pounds. Kettlebell guy lost his hands. Kettlebell flew at me, not a good day, don't make that happen, all right? Let's go ahead and work safely, keep those thumbs wrapped all the way around that kettlebell. Third, we're gonna go ahead and pick up this kettlebell and we're going to go into a quarter squat or semi-squat stance. What that looks like from the side, standing up erect. As I go down, I kind of push my hips back, keeping my chest up, all right? Very, very important that you keep your forearms against your thighs. Don't have your forearms out here. Here's the reason why. As I move through the movement of a kettlebell swing, my hips are gonna go forward and up. If my arms are away from my body, my hips have nothing to push them against. If my arms are close onto my body, onto my thighs, when I thrust forward, I have something to push the weight up with, all right? Very, very important. It's gonna help you and aid you, especially on those long kettlebell workouts. Here we go, back into it. Once I thrust forward, hips are going full, not just straight ahead, but forward and up. Once I get that motion going, my shoulders, or my, particularly my anterior delt, the front portion of your shoulders, are going to kick in, all right? When they do that, you're gonna lift that weight all the way above your head. I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. Here we go, up. I'm gonna pause here for effect. Step back so you can see the kettlebell. My anterior is taking that weight from about chest level all the way to above my head. All right, from a side view, what I want you to look at is that my head is what we call through the window. That's either in line, my ears are in line with my biceps, or past them, all right? Now, I have two options here. I can go back down, straight arms like I came up, and come right back up. Or what I like is I like to bend my elbows slightly. What that looks like from the front, I like to bend them slightly and drop the weight right in front of me so that I go right back into that semi or quarter squat stance ready for the next rep. What happens when we don't do that, and typically, especially when we get tired, if we keep that straight arm stance, we tend to come down this way, bending back first, show you from the side. We'll go up with both arms, straight, which you should, but on down the stroke, a lot of times we go with a straight arm and we end up doing this motion, putting our lower back, especially, in a very vulnerable position. Let's try not to make that happen. We can get around that. How can we do that? Like I said, we'll go ahead and throw the kettlebell up, and I bend my arm slightly, drop it right in front of my face, and I'm right back into that next kettlebell swing. Arms are right up against my thighs, ready to go. Back up, boom. Now you can add a little jump to it, especially if the kettlebell's a little heavier to give you some more momentum, but that is essentially a kettlebell swing. Hopefully, that was helpful if you have trouble with your kettlebell swings. As always, if you have any questions, you can let me know by sending a little note there, and I'll answer your comments. Thanks once again. I'm Coach Tommy, Committed Truth Fitness, and always commit to your truth. Take care.